what's what's good YouTube and all that, you know. Hope you all are good and all that. I'm back with another one, you know what I mean? This one I'm just gonna give you know my local two cents on, you know, the most underrated artist of all time, you know. But yeah, before I get in and all that, please like, comment, subscribe, notification as well. Let's try to get to a hundred subs and all that, you know. Let's try to push and all that. I'll try to keep your consistency and all that, you know. But without further ado and all that, let's get into it, you know. You know, this artist, yeah, he's been in the game for time. He's no loose case whatsoever. He's been in the game for time. He's very consistent. He's got like 11 albums, mixtape, EPs, all together. 11. You know, that's a lot. It tells you that he's very consistent. He's very key. He sticks with his sound. He doesn't fuck around and go to, you know, what's trending on, on the days, on the weeks, on the months. You know, he's very consistent in what he does. He, his takes also on like music is very, is, you know, he's innovative as well, you know. And he always keeps the, con you know, the construction. He always keeps like a story behind it, you know. This artist, I'm, I don't know with this description, I'm sure y'all won't get it, but quote to the friend incredible brother quote to the friend is the most underrated artist of all time you know because i think it's because the sound you know what i mean as i as, I, as i've said in the my previous videos on live a link below the heat one where i said that you know music has changed we came from you know the two parks and all that listening we, uh, they taught us or they spoke on topics like social justice and all of that important stuff, you know. And we moved on to, you know, TD rap and all that and in lifestyle changes and all that. But now with Kota, I think he like he brings it back. He brings like the old shit back. Fresh beats, boom back type of style. And it's it's free flowing, you know. He's he's in his own room. And not to many and to mention as well that he's also independent. That's a mad thing. He's independent and as well he's pulling numbers like this is crazy as well, you know. So he has to give him props and he's underrated as well because we've got artists out there, for example, Little Pumps, Zero Uzis, all of these big artists, you know, your Morays and all of that, Ronnie Rich, Kodak, that are rated so highly. People rate, you know, people would put them like on the um, Mount Rushmore stuff, bro. That music there is dead, it's done, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not it. And I, obviously, I've said it pre uh, in my previous videos that we're all a victim of listening to these type of music. Yeah, but once you tap into Kota, mental, it's, it's, it's different. You know what I mean? It's different. It brings it back. His albums don't feel as if, you know, it's, it's work. It feels chill. It feels it feels fun. You know what I mean? He, re he recently dropped an uh, album uh, on the 23rd of Mo uh, 24th of March, if I'm not mistaken. It's called To... Uh, to see a sunrise beautiful album that that you know the name of the album explains you know the music that's gonna be there chilled vibes you know beautiful stuff this is the music you listen to you know to see a sunrise or a sunset as well it's very calming you know and the thing is with Porter that's very key is that if you look back at his albums yeah like he's got trilogies and all of that like it's it's like a storyline, you know. We've got lyrics to go, volume one, volume two, volume three. We've got to to kill a sunset, to see us to see a sunrise. To kill a sunset is one album. To see a sunrise is another album. If you listen to both of them, two different sounds. One feels as if you know what this is music you wake up to, and all that is it's, it's it, you know it's it's groovy, it's jazzy, and all of that. It's got the roads keys and all that. Then when you listen to the one that you drop. You know the latest one to see a sunset is very calm chilled on the road type of thing when the sun is setting it sets the tone and all that you know you can see that he's very innovative creative all of that you know to see lyrics to go volume one volume two volume three you know what you're getting there you're getting straight raps and all that you're getting you know his take on certain things he speaks on like the social media side of, of things he speaks on the the twitter cancellation as well very deep topics you know that it's mad out there, so he's, he's just metal, he's mad underrated, you know what I mean? And I think people just, you know, they'll listen, they just go, yeah, it's culture. But bro, if you sit back, relax, and deep in what he's saying, it's actually, it's, 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 it's beautiful, you know? And all his albums are very different in their own ways, you know? A person might say, nah, this guy is just doing this, this, and this, it sounds the same, but nah, it ain't. He's on. He's in his own uh, 
could flow his own lane independent as i've said he's not moving like other artists that switch up that go to like you know the vamp side of playing card or that go to the melodic side of rap you know what i mean he is in his own lane he doesn't care what's going on whatsoever he sticks to what you know but to him and all that and you have to respect the thing you know what i mean he's for me he's he's goated you know what i mean he's goated i think people will be like nah judging you judging him already too much but bro if you listen to his work and the effort and he, whatever he puts in is bro is incredible and the thing is is certain artists we want them to succeed and all that and i think that he's not getting the light that he needs to you know to go up and look even though he's doing numbers and all that you know because he's uh i think he's his biggest stream song is Colorado. That was all over. Yeah, it's what like 17 million streams on Spotify. And all that. But yeah, we can, people will say he's big, but look at his shit after that. He's got like a million plays and all of that. For me, which is too small for his quality and all of that. You know, different gravy. This guy, different. He speaks to you like inside and out. You it makes you deep life as well. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, yo, this brother is underrated to the core. Better than some of your artists that you fuck with as well, you know. He doesn't switch up the flow and go to the modern beat. He sticks to what you know what he grew up with, the boom bap rap, you know, basic shit, the eighties and all of that is common. That you know, he just he, I'm here to give him his. I'm here to give him, you know, his flowers basically because bro, mad thing, mad thing, mad thing, sweet as hell, you know. This is music that you can listen to on the daily as well. It's calm. You know, and I know I've been repeating stuff and all that, but it's, if you listen to to his work and all that, you will see what I mean. But yeah, he's he's the most underrated artist of all time, and people should really give him his, his ears and yo, it's calming thing, you know. But yeah, that's my he's the most underrated artist of all time. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. I might be dropping something also. Look out there. I don't see what happens, you know, but yeah, see you on the next video.